Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it really is a joy to visit with you again. Today, I want to thank Charles Stanley for the catalyst uh, for the thoughts that go into today's devotion. Uh, I recently read one of his devotions, and the message in that devotion is timeless and one that really resonates well in our circumstances today. I want to think back to that story um, when the Israelites sent out spies to do reconnaissance mission to access the land of Canaan. What an honor I think it must have been to be chosen by Moses. There was one person from each of the 12 tribes that were sent out to check the land that was flowing with milk and honey that was promised to them. But it was interesting. After they had gone out and searched the land, the spies came back with, well, let's say a majority report and a minority report. They had wonderful stories. Uh, they talked about a grape cluster that was so huge it had to be carried on a pole lifted by two men. Quite a story, you must say. They confirmed indeed that the promised land was everything that God had promised. But, hear me, but the majority report focused on the obstacles in taking the land. They fearfully reported on of Canaanite warriors so big that they dwarfed the very best of Israel's army. Kind of made me think of the story between David and Goliath. They saw these insurmountable giants and they gave a limited and fearful report. Now the minority report came from Joshua and Caleb and they spoke the truth. They told the whole truth and they reminded everyone of God's promises. They said, and I read to you from Numbers 14, 8 and 9. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord. And do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will devour them. Their protection is gone but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. You know what, my friends? Only Joshua and Caleb would live to see the promised land because they focused on the goal God had laid out for them and not on the obstacles standing in the way. That's a word for us today. My friends, in these challenging times, it is so easy to focus on the obstacles rather than on God who will deliver us. Let's be reminded today to trust God, to trust his promises, to trust his word, and to know with God's help we will reach his goals that he has for each of us. We may not always see how we will defeat our giants. But with God's help, my friends, he will make a way. Now, just a few thoughts uh, about Wesley Church and a couple of basic reminders. I certainly want to take a moment to thank Michelle, our part-time custodian, for her faithful service to Wesley Church. She's going to be leaving us at the end of the month, and we wish her the absolute best in her new endeavors. Her position is about 15 hours a week, and if you might be interested in that position, please contact the church office. As usual, if you plan to attend uh, our service, we ask that you RSVP to the church office by, mail, by email or by phone. Um, those attending are still required to wear a mask. We continue to live stream our services each Sunday at 9 a.m. on Facebook, and YouTube. Please, if you do feel that you've come in contact with someone that had the virus, if you're not feeling well, or if you're not comfortable in joining us that yet, just join us as we continue to worship together online. You know, there are folks that are comfortable being here in person, and there are others that are comfortable joining us online, but we are all together worshiping the same Lord. And either way, we will be together in spirit. Finally, Jeff Miller's Sunday School class continues to meet on Sunday mornings in the fellowship hall following our service. 
Well, thank you for sharing this time with me. Let's wrap it up today with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this important reminder not to focus on the obstacles, but on your promises. For as we keep our eyes on Jesus, you will provide a way through any obstacle we may face, no matter how small or big that obstacle may be. We ask your continued care for those who are caring for our sick and healing for those who have been infected by this virus. Help us stay vigilant and promoting the well-being of everyone around us. We ask this simple prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, it was good to spend this time with you. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. My friends, stay strong and stay safe. God bless you. Bye.